Welcome to Conscious Cannabis. I'm your host, Courtney Ora Freeman. And anything you see either for the future of uh, cannabis events or otherwise, or, or just anything else for the industry at large, uh, maybe you have some thoughts on where things are going or where you'd like things to go, because uh, we can also speak things into reality if you want to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so there's a variety of different things, um, but more looking, you know, when looking at like the data that we're seeing at Event Heights specifically. Um, we're noticing, you know, events that are focused around education do very, very well. Um, those are one of the top things. And then okay. the second thing on top of that are food culinary experiences. So people really like learning about cannabis and even if it's not necessarily consuming, eating, at a, eating infused food, having that experience where cannabis is associated with that event okay, um, great. in some sort of manner. Yeah, so those are just some really good data points that we're seeing across the board throughout the US. Um, and I think those will continue to move forward. Uh, the other, you know, the, what's following along after that is health and wellness. So whether it's an activity or even hiking, um, ganja yoga, there's a variety of different things. So those are the top threes um, that are having the most, being produced the most and obviously having the most ticket sales. Um, where we think events are going to go. You know, before this all happened, everybody was almost, I don't wanna say complaining, but they kind of were. They were like, there's too many events, you know, too many things are <laughs> happening. <laughs> and I think what it was, was because the creativity wasn't being thought out on the majority scale. Like events like you guys, you guys do think things through. You guys have some creativity aspect and social like experiences and activations that are created in the events that you produce. And I think that's really important. And I really believe that more brands and event hosts are going to really start moving towards that experiential activation kind of mindset when it comes to producing events. Um, because people want something different, you know, and it, it even right now, like you said, we're away from everybody. So we can't have that human connection. Once this is done, we're going to want it. Everybody's going to want it a lot. <laughs> you know, if I can, I uh, just yeah. share one of the, so, um, I, a, I love the concept of what you guys are doing. I, I will definitely tune in on April 1st and April 20th. Um, one, of, one of the things with uh, for our company uh, with Event High, what we wanted to do because of this whole, you know, COVID-19 and this whole transition of everything, um, we're, we're actually kind of doing a big campaign. So on April 11th, uh, we're hosting an event called High Day. We don't normally host events. Event High is just mostly, obviously, you know, a ticketing software. Uh, but we wanted to definitely give back to our event host community. Um, so we're actually going to be hosting an online event on April 11th. And we're going to be bringing in um, event hosts as well. And all the ticket sales are going to actually uh, give a percentage of the proceeds to No Kids Hungry organization, Amazing. which is helping feed kids um, who actually, um, you know, are... Uh, not able to get the meals that they normally do through a school at this time. Uh, we also are going to be providing a percentage to the event hosts as well to give back to them. Um, and then this will also help a company like us kind of survive through this movement and be able to continue with our mission of providing a platform and community for the event hosts. So that's just something we're working on and just wanted to share that really quick. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, you know, I want to ask all of our viewers to support Event High. Um, if you do have events that you're producing, it's a great platform, a great way to attract. Um, they do a lot of promotions. They have a, a, a really extensive reach. So if you are interested, it's a great platform to be ticketing through. I recommend it. Also, um, one of the reasons that I really doubled down on Event High was because Eventbrite uh, started, started cutting off cannabis uh, events. And if you said anything about a gift bag, regardless of what it was, they would shut down your uh, your ticketing. So um, Event High was really born out of some, some necessity, but also inspiration um, because they do have a lot of knowledge surrounding uh, software development. And they've done a great job of executing. If you would, can you tell everybody how to find Event High? Yeah, so you can visit uh, www.eventhigh.io and it's H-I, like hi, hello. Uh, you can also find us on Instagram, which is at eventhigh.io. Um, and if you want to connect with me, I'm at Miss Adelia on Instagram as well. Thank you so much again for being here. It's so nice mm -hmm. to touch base with you and connect and catch up. And we're going to be seeing a lot of each other online in the next, yes, few, right? <laughs> next few weeks. Um, 
uh, I want to just, uh, for everyone listening, thank you very much for listening. For those of you watching, thank you for watching. Uh, you can continue to support Conscious Cannabis by visiting our website. I'm your host, Courtney Ora Freeman, and you can find me on Instagram, Courtney Ora Freeman. You can also find me at White Buffalo. Uh, this podcast is powered by White Buffalo, our events company, and the parent company for our 40-year-old rolling paper and wellness lifestyle brands. Thank you. Bye-bye.